Welcome back to Hack Code. In this video, we are tackling the lead code problem, non overlapping intervals. This challenge tests your understanding of interval sorting and query algorithms, which is crucial for many real world applications, including the meeting room scheduling, resource allocation, and more. Let's dive in. So, here, the given question is given an array of intervals, which is named intervals here, where the intervals of i represent the short of i and end of i. Written the minimum number of intervals you need to remove to make the rest of the intervals non overlapping. So basically, the goal is to remove the minimum number of intervals so that the remaining intervals do not overlap. Each interval is represented as a pair of integers. The first integer is the start, and the second is the end of the interval. So let's look into the examples here. In the first example, we can see the intervals given are 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 1, 3. So by the glimpse of this, we can see that uh, 1, 3 is overlapping here with these two, uh, 1, 2, and 2, 3, so that 1, 3 can be removed and, may, uh, and the rest of the intervals can be non-overlapping. So here the output is 1. So in example 2, we have the intervals 1, 2 repeated for 3 times. So if we want to make this non-overlapping thing, we should remove the 2 of 1, 2's, right? So we remove 2 of this and then make it non-overlapping intervals. And then in example 3, we don't see anything overlapping. So that's why the output is 0. So the constants here are given. Uh, intervals length uh, ranges from like I mean this array's length ranges from 1 to 10 power 5. This is inclusive range. So the intervals length uh, each element basically this represents uh, short and end timing. So basically the length is 2 here. So here they given that the start and end of i. So each like start and end time would be in the range of minus 5 into 10 power 4 to 5 into 10 power 4. So with the given constraints we can see that the interval length can go up to 10 power 5. So if it is 10 power 5, uh, the solution should be O of n log n to suffice in the range of 10 power 8 operations per second, else the solution won't be feasible. So we should some start thinking in terms of n log n solution. So first thing we should get is like sorting, because like so all uh, the best sorting algorithm takes in n log n time, right? So this is the first idea we should get, like it's n log n, then it should be something involved in sorting or something else in the similar terms. This is just a clue I'm giving, uh, so you can think of it. Uh, but we'll go to the solutions right now. So here the approach is using the greedy algorithm. So we should start by sorting the intervals based on their end times. Why end times? Because the sorting by the end times helps in the selecting the intervals that finish the, at the earliest. So which in turns allow room for the more intervals to be included without overlap. So and then we initialize a counter. This is for keeping track of non-overlapping intervals. Since total uh, intervals minus non-overlapping intervals is overlapping intervals count. So we just doing the reverse engineering process, we just maintain the count of the non-overlapping intervals uh, for retaining the overlapping intervals. So we also need another variable that is n to keep track of the n timing of the loss at an interval. And then we have to iterate the sorted list and for each interval, uh, if it doesn't overlap with the previous included one, that is if the start is uh, greater than or equal to the end of the lost included interval, we need to update the n to this intervals and, and increase the count. So if it overlaps, we skip to the next interval. So the count at the end of the list iteration represents the maximum number of non-overlapping intervals. So the total number of overlapping intervals can be reduced by subtracting the non-overlapping intervals from the uh, total length of the intervals, right? Just it in the total uh, overlapping intervals which are to be removed from the uh, given intervals. Let's look into the flow chart here. So we just start by sorting the intervals by the end time and then we initialize the counter end variable so we loop over the intervals if there is no lap then we just update the end uh, to the current end time and then we increment the counter and then if there is overlap we just uh, skip to the next interval uh, and then uh, if it is end of the list we just return the uh, length of the intervals minus the count so which represents the total overlapping intervals which should be removed to make it all non overlapping intervals uh, so let's look into the code here so here we can see that uh, uh, we start with uh, if not intervals return 0. That means that if the intervals length is 0, uh, then we can return 0 because there is nothing we can remove out of the 0, right? So just return 0. So next, if the intervals length is not 0, then we start by sorting the intervals based on their end times. So here we're using the lambda function to sort the intervals based on their end times. And then we initialize the end to keep track of the uh, end of the first interval. So basically this is the end time of the first interval. So and then we have a count on because so that means that we already uh, counted one non overlapping interval. So that's why we took the count to one. 
so and then we iterate over the remaining intervals see we are iterating uh, from the first uh, index because zeroth index is already done and then we can we check if there is no overlap how do we check that we check if the start time of the current interval is greater than or equal to the end time of the previous interval if s yes, then we just update the end time to the current intervals end time and then we increment the count this keep track of the total non overlapping intervals and then at the end what we do is return the total number of intervals minus the maximum number of non overlapping intervals so that would give the maximum number of overlapping intervals right so that's why it's just a reverse engineering process which we are doing but it should be uh, easy enough to we call this as a greedy algorithm the greedy nature of this approach comes from the making the immediate best choice that is like we selecting the interval ending earliest at each step without reconsidering the previous decisions and this leading to the solution that optimally solves the problem of minimizing overlaps so this method leverages the uh, property by continuously choosing the intervals that end as soon as possible and it maximizes the room for the subsequent intervals aligning the greedy paradigm of the optimizing step by step towards a global objective so the complexity analysis here is the time complexity is o of n log n due to the sorting of intervals and the space complexity is o of 1 since the algorithm modifies the input of the intervals in place without using any extra space demo on conclusion so i have got the code ready here so let's try submitting this so yeah this accepted solution solving the problem of non overlapping intervals using the greedy algorithm is both efficient and straightforward by focusing on the end times of the intervals we maximize the number of intervals we can include without overlap so practice implementing the strategy and testing it with the different data sets to strengthen your understanding and adaptability thank you for tuning to the episode of hack code if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and problem solving tips if you have any questions or solutions to the future topics feel free to leave them in the comments below until next time happy coding